Today I'm gonna to show you how to light your videos like a pro. Maybe you're saying right away, I don't have pro lights like that, or that, or that, or this one. But you do have one of these, a window. That's a fancy pro light. And it's actually super, super simple. You just gotta know how to use it. But before I show you, we got another NMO drop. Not me only. Look at all these shirts. Look at all these boxes. More boxes. If you didn't hear, we started like an actual legit clothing line, super high quality, minimalist clothing with a Scandinavian style, and we're giving away 10% of every single purchase. And if we sell the whole order that we have coming in, we are gonna be able to build a house for somebody in need, which is just absolutely incredible. It's the second drop. We have the same super high quality t-shirt with the scoop bottom, cool little tag here. The sweater, which I'm wearing right now, nice long fit, really high quality sweater, just minimal branding. And then the hoodie, which you guys just ate up. I, I think it was, I think it's just these little details. You guys just, <laughs> the first drop sold out in less than 24 hours. So if you've been looking at not me only NMO stuff, uh, please be quick. And we did open it up to Europe with a caveat. The only problem is the shipping is kind of expensive right now. It's not up to us. We're gonna work hard to get that down. We're gonna figure out something, but it is possible right now to order it within the European Union and UK, I believe. Sorry for the cost. We're gonna make it better. And we have gotten so much Good feedback. Not me only. Okay. Dude, let's talk about this shirt. I'm like really impressed with this shirt. Uh, buy the hoodie. Because my biggest regret is that I didn't get the hoodie as well. It is so comfortable and so well made. Maybe a little too good. Okay, hope you guys enjoy the clothes. Let's get back to lighting like a pro. Okay, so this is kind of your basic room right here. And what we're first gonna do is just look at all the different sources of light. So in my office, I have two windows here and then we have the top down tungsten light, which is actually, I'm, I'm, simu <laughs> I'm simulating it with this light because these lights don't actually work. So yeah, I'm a fraud. It's all fake. And literally every light counts from the windows to your top down lights to a computer screen could be this could be a light and everything is going to affect your image. It's really hard to understand sometimes, but digital sensors are so sensitive that every little light actually matters and not just the light also surfaces can be lights, they can be reflecting light, and they could be reflecting color or just projecting color. So my face is red because this, now it's, the screen is red. So every single light counts. For example, this table is orange. It is reflecting warm light on my face. If I change that to something more white, now it's not as warm and it's a little bit brighter because white reflects better. So orange, more white. Hope that makes sense. The first thing you're gonna do when you're using natural light from a window is you're gonna turn off all of the house light. Turn off those tungsten lights. Instantly way better, way more uniform, just looks so much better. If you didn't realize, every single source of light has a different color to it. I don't think that's, that's probably not the scientific way of saying this, but it has a different color and house lights are usually tungsten, which are a lot more yellow orange than the window light. And we don't always perceive it like that this has color to it, this is more blue. But when you have that contrast of the two, you can really see the difference. So always turn off the house lights. If you can't turn them off, then I would put the white balance in between the two. But if you can't turn them off, just turn them off. On, off, on, off, right away, just better looking. The second thing you wanna do is get closer to that window. And that's for two reasons. The closer I get, the brighter that window is gonna be and the darker the background will feel. So that's gonna really help to separate me as the subject from the background. It just makes me pop more. And then B, secondly, it makes the source bigger in comparison to me, which means it's gonna be softer and more flattering. 
So this is me about six feet, eight feet, something like that away from the window. And you can see I kind of just blend into the background. There isn't very much pop here. And as I go closer, I'm gonna try and keep the same exposure here. Now, I pop way more from that background and the light is just a little bit more flattering on me. Six feet. Two feet. Much better. And then the third thing you gotta do is just turn like 45 degrees. The light instantly becomes way more interesting. There's this bright side and this dark side and this, this is Rembrandt lighting, this little triangle here. It's just way more interesting. There's more going on with the light, more contrast. And if you wanna make it more dramatic, you can keep going and kind of do this 50-50 light side, dark side of the face, which is very interesting. If you want it less dramatic, just do a little bit less than 45 degrees if you're trying to do more of like a natural beauty light. So there's dead on flat light, then we just turn 45 degrees right away. That looks so much better, way more interesting. And bonus, since we have these two lights, we can actually do this kind of like split lighting, uh, very dramatic, but then this window here provides this nice kick or backlight here on my face. That's called a kicker and it's also backlighting me. So again, just makes me pop out from the background a little bit and makes the whole lighting scenario a little bit more interesting. Let's do another example. This is my other room in the office. We just have one window here. So I could go over here in this corner and I have some pretty good contrast. It looks pretty good here. It looks like I have a nice light, which, which I do. A window is a great pro light. Or I could do a little sit down desk setup here. <sighs> I don't do this because the sound isn't as good in here. We don't have sound panels. So now uh, 45 degrees to the window here and we have this nice kind of darker side, lighter side. And actually we do have another light here. So that's adding a little bit of kick if we don't like it. We can just close that. That's it. We're using windows as a source of light. There was no tungsten lights in here. I would have killed those immediately. But that's it, super simple. Window light is not that scary. You just gotta kinda play around with it. Really, a window is just a light. It's just a different form of light. So don't be intimidated by it. Just kind of, you know, move around, figure out what works. Don't do this, this looks terrible. This looks pretty good. The only downside to window light is that it's not as consistent. It changes every single day and throughout the day it's different. So if it's cloudy, it's gonna look different than if it's sunny like it is right now. And the color is even different because the blue sky versus a gray cloud. And right now we're in the shade, but later on we might have the sun blasting through. So if you need consistent light for like an hour, two hours, it's gonna be pretty hard relying heavily on windows. But if you just need short clips or it doesn't really matter if it changes as much, it's great using a window. And you can do some things to make it more consistent. For example, film on cloudy days. That's a great time to use window light. If you live in like Texas or California or somewhere where I feel like it's never cloudy, then you would wanna choose a window that's I believe northeastern, which, is, which means the sun isn't gonna be blasting through it. You're kind of in the shade the whole day. Wait, if you're in the southern hemisphere, is it the opposite then? <sighs> brain hurts. So if you need a super consistent light, maybe don't use windows, use an actual consistent light source. But if you don't have pro lights, use some windows. All you gotta do is turn off the house lights, turn off all the tungsten lights, just the windows. Make sure you get nice and close to the windows and then just turn 45. That's it, super simple. No excuses, literally anyone can make good videos. You just gotta keep learning. Uh, hope this helped. See ya, Owen. Buy some, buy some NMO. Bye guys.